what's up guys welcome back to another one of my tutorials and today we're going to be using the very popular jeffree star blood sugar palette i finally got it after the pre-order and i had to wait forever but it was definitely worth it so we're going to be using that today and i usually do my foundation before i start my videos but today we're going to be starting on the eyes so let's just ignore my under eye circles and i've also been doing this technique where i do my eyebrows last so i'm going to take like my tart shape tape concealer and draw a line under where i usually carve out my eyebrows but we're just going to be underlining it and then i'll prime my eyes with the same concealer For the eyes, the first shade I'm going to take is Extraction and Coma mixed together and I'm going to pat that on the eyes in like a half circle shape. If you stipple the shade on rather than blend it, you get more color payoff and it like blends better with the other colors if you just lay down the color and not really diffuse it too much. Then to blend out all those purple shades, I'm going to be taking the shade, I can't read it, what is it, what is it? Tongue Pop, yeah, Tongue Pop, and I'll just take that on this MAC 228 brush, and I'll work in small sections, and I'll start blending it out, but you use like the lightest pressure, and when you do that, it like blends it out so nicely. I've been loving how this looks when you do the eyeshadow that way. Then I'll go back into the shades Extraction and Coma and I'll replace that in the same spots I put it before. I'll just keep switching between the purples and the shade Tongue Pop just to re-intensify them. And then once I get like the vibrancy I want, then I'll move on to the other part. Now, after I blended all that eyeshadow, which took forever, I'm going to take my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again, and I take this small concealer brush from e.l.f., and it has, like, a tip at, like, a, not a tip, like, a flat edge at the top so it makes it perfect for doing cut creases on the eye and i've also been taking the concealer over the whole entire eye because when i would do halo eyes and i would just do the concealer in the center the edges would be like muddy so when you put the concealer on the whole eye all the shadows on top of the lid look more vibrant After we cut that crease girl, we're going to be taking cavity and root canal and I'm going to be placing that in the center of the lid. When you mix these two colors together, they look bomb. So that's what the color I'm going to be for the center of my halo eye. Yeah. After we packed on the center shade, I'm going to be taking the shade Fresh Meat and I'm going to be placing that on both sides of the center lid shade we just placed down just so it blends more and then we'll take a darker shade on the other two sides. To smoke out the outer two corners of this halo eye, I'm going to take Extraction and Coma again. I like to use the same shades that we used in the crease just so it's like more cohesive and I also forgot to say we're not going to place these colors all the way up to the edge of the halo eye we're going to leave like a tiny space in between because we're going to put a different shadow there after we place all the shadows down on the lid i'll go back into cavity and root canal and re-intensify the center of the lid because once you place all these shadows down that color gets lost and i want that color to be like the main show the main color whatever however you say it i just want that color to be like popping the most 
Remember how I said to leave those two parts on the lid blank with no shadow? Well, we're going to be placing O positive there. And I like how this looks because you can tell like you have a halo eye and it's not just a bunch of shadows. You could tell that we took all that work to cut that crease. So we're going to show it. I just popped some lashes on off camera because I cannot do them on camera for the life of me and I did my under eye eyeshadow but I must have not been recording but I'll show you guys later on when I re-intensify it it's just the colors that I use but now we're gonna move on to my foundation and I'm taking my wet n wild pro concealer photo focus concealer I don't know why not concealer foundation uh and i'm just gonna put that all over my face and blend it in with the brush so we can get the maximum coverage because we like that mask honey and for concealer we're gonna take the tarp shape tape duh the only concealer i'll ever use and i'm gonna place that all over my eyes on my chin my nose and my forehead just to highlight the entire face And we're going to blend all that concealer in with my Real Techniques sponge because if you don't use a sponge, who are you? And to set that concealer and set my face, I'll bake in the areas that I put concealer only though. And the rest of my face, I'll just brush it on there. But I take my Maybelline Fit Me powder in Fair. This powder is so good. Once I started using it, I never turned back. And for bronzer, duh, we're going to take my Kylie Cosmetic Sunny Dip Duo and I take the bronzer side. And oh my god, I just noticed you can hear my TV in the back, but I don't want to turn the show off because it's so good. But I'm just going to bronze up my whole face using that bronzer. For highlight today, I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Skin Frost and Peach Goddess because if we're using the palette, we got to use the highlighter too. And I wet my brush with the Mario Badesco Rose Water before I apply it just so it can be more blinding. For blush, I'm going to be taking this little city color palette I got from my Ipsy bag one time. I don't know the name, sorry, but I'm going to take the purple shade in it. Then I take the same powder I use for under my eyes and I just carve out my cheeks just so all the contour and stuff can be more precise. Now time for the brows. I'm going to take my Anastasia Dip Brow in Taupe and I'm first going to underline the bottom of my brow and then I'll underline the top and I'll draw some like hair like strokes at the front. I'm only going to show how I do my eyebrows this time because it takes forever but I thought since I haven't done like an updated brow routine I just include it in this video. <laughs> And after I fill in my eyebrows all the way and I get them how I like them, I'll set them with some clear mascara so they don't budge. Now for lower lash line eyeshadow, I took a mixture of fresh meat and tongue pop together and just popped that on the lower lash line. And for inner corner highlight, I took the shade Candy Floss.
After I blended out that eyeshadow on the lower lash line, I'll take this white eyeliner from NYX and I'll pop it on the waterline down there. And then I'll put a mixture of a cavity and root canal on top of that white liner. It just sticks there and it doesn't budge just so the top of the lid can match with the bottom of the lid. For lips, I'm first going to take the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Problematic and I just outline my lips with that leaving the center bare. And then for the center, I take the liquid lipstick Sagittarius just so it could be like an ombre lip, you know, something fancy. Then I'm just going to set my face with my Mario Badesco Rose Water. And then that's it for this look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below what video I should make next. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!